The Instagram page is called Black in PUSD, and it gives students in the Poway Unified School District a safe place to share their experiences with racism in school. They detail specific incidents, not just with other students, but with teachers as well. The page isn't even a week old, but there are already hundreds of posts like this one. In eighth grade, I had a teacher ask me if I wanted to be called Black, African American, African, or my name. I had obviously told him I wanted to be called by my real name than to be called by my race, and he only said, okay, we'll see about that. A student from Poway High posted, my history teacher in Poway defended the actions of Derek Chauvin by saying George Floyd could still breathe since he was talking. The poster continues, it's just very blatant racism happening around my campus, and it sucks to see it be so normalized. And then there's a post from Twin Peaks Middle School saying a history teacher not only glorified slave owners, but also held a demonstration on slave trading. She would pick the white students to play as wealthy slave owners, and the colored students, black and Hispanic students, play as slaves. She would pass the slave around the classroom from owner to owner and act as if it was typical and a proper custom. When I first started looking through the post, it was heartbreaking and eye-opening. Christine now, Peck is the chief communications officer for Poway Unified. She says the number of complaints posted so quickly is saddening. It really puts um, a name and a face, even though they're anonymous, to some of the experiences that our students of color are going through and facing on a day-to-day -day basis, um, we have to do better. In fact, the district was already planning to take up an anti-racism resolution later this week to offer more diverse curriculum, more diversity in hiring, and expand anti-bias training for students and staff. This Instagram page was created by a current Poway Unified student and a recent graduate. They've asked to remain anonymous because they fear retaliation, but they do confirm to News 8 that the district has reached out to them, and they're hoping that all of this will lead to meaningful change that makes schools a more welcoming place for all students.